hey y'all it is your girl sin and you already know the deal welcome back to my channel what's up we're getting right into it this time around my eyebrows are already done we are prepped we are primed we are ready to go but of course make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and make sure you guys are also following me on instagram for some more pictures for the final results so yeah if you're interested on in how i got my graduation portrait looks stay tuned okay so boom we're getting into it we're starting off with one of my favorite palettes you guys i did have a review on this um on my channel and i'll link that video down below so we're going to be using this palette today to get this nice simple glam i'm starting off by priming my lids with color pops concealer i forgot the color but everything is going to be down in the description it's a really 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 light beige i don't have white so i really wanted a nice clean base just to put on the eyeshadow because i am going to be using lighter colors and i want them to show up um even though they're subtle so yeah that's what we're doing right now also i am using my fingers to blend in that concealer and you want to make sure you cover the whole entire lid because you don't know where you're going to be placing these eyeshadows you guys i'm not an expert but i'm trying and then um after i finish doing this i'm going in with this wet and wild photo focus um powder setting powder i believe in the color banana to set the concealer so that way it is easier to blend the shadows you guys already know um it's gonna be way way harder to blend blend those con um oh my god you guys i can't speak <laughs> it's gonna be a lot harder to blend the eyeshadows if you're putting it on wet concealer so you know what i'm saying we we, we want it to look we want it to be a vibe so we are going in with this nice subtle pinkish beige brownish color in the palette i forgot the name like i said everything will be down in the description and we're going to blend our life away in the crease, um, you know, for a nice little transition. And then we're going to go into the darker color. I did take another brush just to um, focus on that crease even more to build it up and warm it up a lot more. So you guys, after I finished blending out these crease colors on both sides, I also went in and added this nice shimmery pink color. And then of course you guys already know I do love a light a nice winged liner so I'm going in with this wing liner and I tried something different this time I tried to bring it in to my inner tear duct a little bit more just to give it a nice cat eye effect because I did really like that look so that's what I went for I'm not the best at eyeliner but I definitely tried my best and I think it came out okay <laughs> Out, 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 out
And then after I finished my eyeliner, I went in with my concealer. Um, I used the ColourPop concealer in that lightest color I did and I primed my lids with. And I also went in with a darker color, these two right here, to just give myself a highlight. I'm trying this reverse, um, this reverse routine because today I'm actually going to be wearing foundation and I think I lost that clip as well so after I did this reverse highlighting trick if you guys want to find out more about that definitely check that up on YouTube I went in and just blended it and added my foundation on top so that way I can go ahead and begin to warm up the face we looking a little ghostly you feel me we gotta warm it up make sure that we're looking human <laughs> for these pictures so yeah, I'm gonna go in with that middle color in the, um, I believe it was the Black Radiance Contour um, kit. And I went in with that middle color just to warm up the face. It does a really good job with um, bringing the life back into the face. And I'm gonna just take that, you know, on my forehead, um, by my jawline, under my nose, and my chin, and just really chisel it out as much as I can. I don't like to contour. But for these photos, I really wanted to have a nice, professional, full beat. You know, makeup, no makeup, soft glam, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, have it look nice. And then right here, I'm going back in on my eyebrows because I was not feeling my eyebrows, guys. Like, they were cute in the beginning, but, like, as I was going along with the makeup, they were just not it. So I had to, you know, try to redo that. And then I'm going in now with my lip liner this is a nice brown color i always use the same color these are the ones that i used in my other videos as well nothing new we're just gonna outline that lip i'm going for that nice glossy 90s um liner you know look and then of course i'm going back in now with my eyelashes i keep losing the footage so i did my bottom lashes with some mascara i used the telescopic um, by L'Oreal in Carbon Black. Um, I've used it in previous videos before just to make those lower lashes pop while I apply these newer lashes. I will include these in the description box again below in case. Um, if you guys want a full video on me applying lashes, let me know. And I'm just making sure they look good until so we can continue. So yeah, this tutorial is a little bit all over the place. I'm definitely not a step-by-step -step girl when it comes to this makeup thing. I do whatever I feel is next. So right now, I'm actually taking that um, concealer again that I used for my eyelids to actually create a nude um, lipstick. And I just applied it to the lips and I massaged them in and use the brush to kind of blend them in with the outer corners just to give it a nice gradient and then after this you guys are gonna see me use my lip gloss by Fenty the gloss bomb just to um, top it off and it actually came out really really nice and I did actually go back in as you guys are gonna see with a darker lip liner just to give it more of that effect that I was looking for and it came out really nice so yeah
So after I am satisfied with the lips, I'm gonna go in with my two favorite highlighters right now. One of them is the OG, which is what I'm gonna be using first. Literally, I feel like I've used this highlighter in every single makeup tutorial that I have on my channel. So be sure to click those um, and you know head to my channel, check them out. But yes, this is the same ColourPop Wisp and the Color Wisp highlighter that I've been raving about. As you guys can see, a little bit goes a long way. It's blinding. It speaks for itself. Period. Period, poo. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to apply that to the cheeks. I did it on the bridge of my nose. And um, I did do it on my chin as well. I like that effect for some reason. And then I'm going to go in and actually do something that I don't normally do. Which is put it on the tip of my nose. Just for like a cutesy effect. We're going in with the highlighter. This is a photo shoot sis. We need to, we need to, we need to pop here. Okay. So after I finish using this color pop highlighter. I am going to go in with the Fenty Beauty highlighter in the color Hustler Baby. And that is it for this video you guys. The look came out cute. I wasn't obsessed with it at first. But then after looking at the photos. I realized you know I did an okay job so I'm really proud of myself um and that's the end of this video thank you guys for watching make sure you like subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video